Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week, we are playing Pure Burn. That's right. Thanks to Razorkin Needlehead, pretty much a two-mana Shieldred effect where it's going to ping our opponent whenever they draw a card. And then we've also got Screaming Nemesis, which is going to deal its damage, uh, deals damage equal to the amount of damage dealt to it to any target. And they, if it hits a player, that player cannot gain life anymore. You combine that with something like O'Hare, Axineal, Deepest Might, or maybe Sulfim, you're going to double all the damage that you're dealing. So uh, Razorkin could potentially be four damage on every draw, or Sulfim could be doubling whatever Screaming Nemesis is doing. And then we're going to try to see if we can catch people slipping on their mana bases and getting extra greedy because of the new lands. And so because of that, we're playing Sunspine Links, so we'll shut down life gain, and deal damage equal to the number of like non-basics they've got. So let's see how we do on the ladder. Maybe I need the uh, little hasty one drop. Oh no, it's Chorus. Oh no, it's Chorus. I'm going to get infected out. What? Yo, that looks the... Okay, that is like aesthetically very pleasing to me. Like these cards are like kind of the... They look like they'd be in the same house. For sure. Is this a toy deck? Oh god. That's fine. Okay, opponent. Yeah, you got it. No, no, no. Do not let that resolve. Do not let that resolve. Okay, cool. I get rid of the regal bunny corn here. Okay. Okay. So now I gotta hang back and try to block. This is the blocking screaming nemesis, which is very weird. I don't think this was its purpose. All right, block. Sure. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna play another Screaming Nemesis. I mean, right now, Dwayne the Block Johnson is coming down. I gotta kill them before uh, they can run wide with this porcelain nonsense, right? Wait, that's funny. Okay, they can't gain life for the rest of the game. Uh, sure, opponent. What are you doing? Oh my god, please. Please keep attack- Attack with the Regal Bunny Corn. Why won't you attack with Regal Bunny- If I draw, for the love of god, an untapped land here. I need them to not hit a sixth land. God! No! Oh, I'm so dead! Oh, gross. GG's. I'll keep this, sure. Uh, pass. Ley line. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single creature you control, choose new targets for that copy. Okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. This is a combo deck, right? This is definitely a storm deck. Exile a creature you control, then return to the battle under its owner's control if that creature... Okay, sure. So they get another copy of that. They only draw one. Okay. Leyline of Resonance? I'm so confused. I guess the nice thing is these Leylines stack, so no matter what, they're always going to have more things to do. Or they're going to always have something to do with every one of these Leylines. I feel like I'm kind of just doing what they're doing, but at a much slower rate. Okay. They're going to draw two cards. That's pretty good here, but not exactly what I need to do right now. I mean, they need a creature to pop off and target, right? I mean, is there a point to doing anything right now other than... I don't want to tap out. I want to be able to play Invasion of Ragatha, deal one damage to uh, 
fajita archaeologists. You've never heard of Drago in mono red, right? But we're doing that right now. Yeah, on the brighter side, my opponent has no idea what I'm doing either. Okay, opponent. I can safely assume there is some kind of combo. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and play Screaming Nemesis. My goal is to make it so I can pyroclasm my Screaming Nemesis. Okay, sure. Alright, pass. I'm so curious what their deck does. This has got to be some kind of like Otter Storm. Because I saw that they had the Flash card. The little Otter that gives Flash. Oh, that's huge. That's so huge right now. Okay. Like he cannot, this opponent cannot let Scythe Claw Raptor resolve. Nice. All right, we got rid of what they were trying to clone. Yeah, they counter my guy. I guess now we go to damage, get in for three, pass. So they do play counter magic. Oh, they got offspring on this one. That's pretty good. That thing's pretty good. But you know what's pretty great about it? I've currently got a pyroclasm that will clear this out. And I kind of love this for me. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. To a permanent opponent controls, it deals non-combat damage. Yeah, let's run it. Upstairs we go. And then now I swing in. So they can't gain life for the rest of the game. And I've got the ability now to actually hold up the uh, discard to get indestructible, force my opponent into a situation where they have to deal with my Sulfum. And right now they are just staring down eight damage to the dome. They also have no way of gaining life right now. It is very possible I could be dead here, right? What would have to happen? Because they have a ley line out. They get to copy monstrous rage, you know, do all these other things maybe. Nope, that's okay. That's it. Screaming Nem- This is a curve. This is a curve. I'll pass to the opponent. Blue, black. What are they doing in blue and black? Nothing yet. Play a bat or something. Just play a bat. Oh, dude, yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and play Scythe Claw Raptor. I'm going to pass. They can't cut this down. They do have three permanents, so if they have the, uh, any kind of like... Removal or some scary like that. They got me good. Okay. I am going to go out of my way now and hope that they do not have another answer. Okay, they're milling themselves. We kind of love that. I guess I'll just deal eight. Swing in. Pass. Okay. I'm now going to go ahead and play Screaming Nemesis. And then now we'll send the damage upstairs. Weesh. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll keep this. This is pretty good. I'll pass. They're on blue and green nonsense, so... Okay, what are the odds that I resolve my spells? Let's find out. Okay, Growing Dread, that's pretty nice. They'll take one. Clock's already on. They're on Sultai. This makes me a little concerned. I'm going to just play another Screaming Nemesis. If they have counter magic, they probably want to use it. I'm going straight to the face. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, now what? They've drawn a card. They'll take a damage. I mean, if they don't, if I draw a fourth land here and I Sunspine links them, that's going to feel pretty good. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, my turn. We swing again. Okay. That feels pretty good. And now I cleared off their board. They'll take three. Take another one. Next turn, I play Axineal. And then that's just going to be if they draw, they take four. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to play Axineal. Right? Because now they can't gain life. And now they'll have to take four. And that's GG's.
Is this hand gas? This hand has to be gas, right? I have no turn one plays except for a ghost vacuum, but outside of that, this hand has to be gas. All right, I'm playing a mountain and I'm passing. All right, opponent's doing weird stuff. I repeat, opponent can't, is confirmed doing weird stuff. So now if they cast any non-creature spells, it deals them one damage. That's not a non-creature. Okay. Huh. Well, in I go. I think they have Leyline, but there's not much I can do about that. So they're doing some weird stuff over there. Oh, they're doing Bale Merc. Oh, and that becomes a body. That's actually really cool, by the way. Brilliant. Gain a life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does that have life link? Kind of want to Sunspine links it up. But I think in reality, I should probably kill the, the Zer. Okay, in I go, in I go. Sunspine links, baby. Here it comes. Oh, that's a juicy mana base. Look at that mana base they're working with right there. Three non-basics. Yo, I am... Oh. Woo, I am going to feast if this card resolves. Okay. I am going to feast. Yeah! I'm just going to send three damage upstairs, too. Oh. Ho? Oh? Hold on. Hello? I'm going to play Sunspine Links. Send four in. Here you go. So now if they play anything, they're going to take some damage. They cannot play li gain life if they play Zer, thanks to Sunspine Links. So that means they have to take the turn off and, <laughs> and actually answer the Sunspine Links. And that's all I need because I've currently got uh, Invasion of Ragatha and, and Overlord. I've got two four damagers in hand right now. Oh, this is so good. Here we go. This is what we needed. Yahoo! <laughs> Send that damage upstairs, baby. <laughs> I'll try this and pray for Lance. Pray for Lance. Pray for Lance. Pray for Lance. We praying for Lance. Okay. All right. All right. We found land. One more land. One more land. Oh, God. Wait, do I just Pyroclasm this? Like, is this something you... No, there's no point in Pyroclasming that, right? Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and now play my little friend. Get in for three. I don't even know what that card does. Enters, create one... Mary token. Okay, okay, okay. We play this. I'm going in. Now we can go Screaming Nemesis Pyroclasm. Aha. Uh -huh. Screaming Nemesis. Pyroclasm? Damage upstairs? Damage upstairs? I'll lose life here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I gotta swing out here. They cannot gain life for the rest of the game now. Sure, they're gonna block Kitty. I lose one. They can't gain life. They double can't gain life, actually. What do they have here? Is it Breach the Multiverse? The Meatball Massacre, baby! Okay, hold on. Let me read this. Whenever a creature in opponent controls dies... Hold on. Which one is this for? Because I kind of want to let them have this one, right? This one, I will decline. I want them to draw this. I'll take the action. And then now, play land. Just straight up play Overlord. Go upstairs. <laughs> GG's. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, check out this Mind Skinner mill deck that I built.